What up, guys? Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit us up on our social media. Let us know what you guys want us to do next. And enjoy. Man, this logo is starting to mean less and less to me every time I see it. Rogue One, Last Jedi, and I have no hope for that solo movie. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, Disney bought a franchise it doesn't know what to do with. Yeah, the scroll text is supposed to tell me what happened in between the movie. This is just describing what happened in the last movie. I already know this. Tell Captain Kennedy to prime his dreadnought, incinerate their base, destroy their transports, and obliterate their fleet. I get the transports and the fleet, but why are we going to incinerate the whole base? Aren't some of those things down there worth some money? I feel like this is just bad business. Attention! This is Commander Poe Dameron of the Republic Fleet. I have an urgent communique for General Hugs. Patch him through. But why? Wasn't the orders from General Snoke to incinerate everybody? There's no conversation to be had. Just shoot his ass and let's go. You'll never penetrate our armor. He's not trying to penetrate our armor. He's clearing out our surface cannon. Now when she says armor, does she mean shields? Because if she does, why are the surface cannons not behind the shields? Why are they outside the shield to be getting shot at anyway? Yeah, so for every resistor that goes out, or circuit, or whatever you want to call it, that's one thing that should be malfunctioning on the ship. So every time BB-8 short circuits another resistor, that's one other function that Poe can't use. Engage now, Commander. That is an order. You all, I don't want to listen to nobody ass, dude. Yeah, he just killed himself. All right, so even if he did want to say she kicked that ladder and made the switch come down, there's no way that she would have got this after she watched it go past her. There's no way. And then, how is she even breathing? They opened up the doors. Okay, maybe if they had some type of shield, I can see how they can, she can still be breathing, but there's obviously no shield because they've been shooting them damn bombers down this whole damn time. <laughs> okay, so I guess maybe Ryan Johnson forgot how gravity worked. Or maybe he thought we forgot how gravity worked. But we're in a space battle, Star Wars, we're in space. So there's no way that the bombs would have just dropped down. How come we can't just have like some rocket boosters on them and they just shot down? They're just, I feel like that would be a lot easier. But no, we got this dumb ass shit and this is what we get. Oh no, Finn, you're back. Oh, they ignored that part of the last movie? Oh, oh okay, you'll be fine then. Finn, naked, leaking bag, what? Fry a yeah, he probably should have fried more than that. Finn! Finn, buddy! It's so good to see you. <sighs> this is just so goofy. He should have a prosthetic spine, man. Shouldn't be in no goofy water bag. What the hell? That's a lightsaber, bro. Hand it back to her. Why would you ever throw it off a cliff like that? Put it on the ground. Say I don't want it. Just throwing it off the cliff is ridiculous. I feel like that's just unreasonable, unrealistic, and one reason why most people don't like this movie. A cur's weakness, properly manipulated, can be a sharp tool. So is this more backstory to who his family is that we're never going to get to see? Hmm, okay. Take that ridiculous thing. Is it ridiculous though? Because I feel like all your guards have helmets. All the stormtroopers have helmets. The stormtroopers can't even take the helmet off without permission. So it seems like it's a pretty standard thing. Plus, Darth Vader had one too. You're just a child in a mask. So, when are we gonna start this training? This is the reason why I even came back. You just seem to be ridiculing me without even trying to help me. Be the solution to the problem. Don't add to it. All right, so first of all, I like the helmet. Second of all, you didn't even explain how you even got the helmet back. I thought he left it on Starkiller base. Maybe I'm tripping. Did he remake the helmet, maybe? You never explained it. Third of all, why can't he just have the helmet? I know you want to get rid of all that we love in Star Wars, but he can't even have a helmet? At least that's new. We need Luke Skywalker. But I'm Batman. 
You don't need Luke Skywalker. That seems like words only Ryan Johnson would say. <laughs> Now, I know this is supposed to, like, scare her off the island or something like that, but I just can't take this serious. I just don't see Luke Skywalker doing something like this. He's like, that's some good titty milk. So, I know this is supposed to be, like, a display of his abilities, but it's more like a lack of his intelligence. Because he could have just picked up the stick from where he actually jumped from and still speared fish. Why does he need to jump across the damn cliff to be able to do so? Who are you? Who are you? Or... Who are you? Kenobi's daughter! There were heroes on that mission. Dead heroes. No leaders. Oh, Got him! <sighs> so we clearly see the big battleship not be able to penetrate the shields. Why can the little ships penetrate the shields? If the big ship can't penetrate the shields, neither can the little ones. Yeah, you're dead. And I'm not even gonna take the time to even explain why. You saw. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, what is she, Mary Poppins? What, all she's missing is a goddamn umbrella. Second of all, she has never showed those powers ever in her life. Third of all, she was in space. So even if she was to just overcome the vacuum of space and the coldness and vastness of what space is, she's an old ass lady. Her cells can't take it. If anyone was gonna make it in a vacuum of space, it would be a young person, a strong person, a healthy, vibrant person. Not her. Let's just say you did want to get this scene some, some props. All Ryan Johnson had to do, show Leia meditating or reading one of the books that maybe Luke gave her. And then I could believe it. But this is some BS. So then, let's just get on back on the logic tip. Let's just think about this logically. So she got flung from the ship. Did the ship stop moving? Because the ship should still be going through space, right? How'd she even get back? Is she, how fast is she? Faster than a bullet? Faster than the plane? That bitch Superman? Well, I guess when you can't breathe in space, I guess you don't think about closing the latch behind you because you just killed everyone that's trying to save you right now. Just saying. <laughs> She, I'd have ate that pork. What I saw, he looked like he wanted something. It, he looked like, why aren't you sharing? He didn't look like, well, don't eat me. Because what could they have looked like when Chewie had to kill him to even cook him in the first damn place? I'm just saying, I'd have ate it. R2? R2. R2 is such a diva robot. How you only gonna turn on for Luke? You hear Luke's name, you turn on, you see him, you turn on, but everywhere else, he like, nah, I'm good. Wake me when you see Luke. So stick to your post and follow my orders. Oh, got him. Poe, man, you better come back with something, man. <laughs> Don't cry, dry your eyes. Here comes your mother with those. Oh, sorry, let's continue. An A-class process, they'll control it from the main bridge. Well, I mean, yes, but every A-class process has a dedicated, dedicated power breaker. breaker. Now, why I love the fact that Finn isn't the dummy, his backstory does not say he should know how light speed works. She just says she works on pipes all day. He was a custodian. Why do they know anything about light speed? Yeah, you're right, 3PO. It's a need-to-know plan, and she doesn't. Dang, you gonna just disrespect Leia in her room watching in her deathbed? Cold-blooded. There's exactly one guy I trust who can crash that kind of security. So either show me what's going on in her situation, because that seems like some type of war, you know, Star Wars, or let her be the person that they actually do the adventure with. Why only give her a cameo? Oh my, it sounds like this codebreaker fellow can do everything. Oh uh, yes, he can. Ew. 
Is there anybody she ain't screwing? Luke. What's that about? Dang, movie, you just said. Can you see my surroundings? You're gonna pay for what you did. I can't see yours. Then as soon as Luke comes out, he can just see him. I thought he can only see Ray. And then it's super disrespectful for them to have Luke come out and him not notice what's going on. Any true Jedi Master would have sensed that evil working and stopped it right then and there. What do you know about the Force? It's a power that Jedi have that lets them control people and make things float. Impressive. Every word in that sentence was wrong. Every word in the sentence? Like it's a power? Is it not a power though? Can you not make things float? I mean, I get the philosophy of what she thinks it is is wrong, but is every word in the sentence wrong? I don't know about that. The force is not a power you have. It's the energy between all things, the tension, the balance that binds the universe together. And that also allows me to lift rocks. And this is the lesson. That force does not belong to the Jedi. I don't know, I see this more of being like a hater statement. This doesn't seem like anything that's gonna help her actually be a better Jedi. This is more like a deterrent for her to even want to become a Jedi. So I'm just not really feeling this lesson as far as her personal growth, but okay. <laughs> So either they left the hatch open to where porks can just get in whenever they want to, or the Millennium Falcon isn't as airtight as we think. Because there's no way that there should be this many porks in the goddamn ship. You know this town? Canto Bite? From stories. So then you don't know this town. Yeah, this is probably everyone's least favorite part of the whole movie, so we're gonna just skip it because I hated this whole story arc. Red plum bloom. Now this is just bad storytelling. Why even show me the guy with the red plum bloom? They should just get captured before they meet him and then say, oh, we weren't able to find him. What are we gonna do? And then they meet Benicio del Toro, even though he's so irrelevant, being he never breaks any codes. <laughs> Now why they do this to Ray? Now they know damn well that ain't no actual technique. That's just her swinging a damn lightsaber around. I guess they didn't have no money for the budget for any type of fight coordinator or fight choreographer or things like that. Cause I feel like there was just way better moves that she could have been doing. Time I realized I was no match for the darkness rising in him. See man, this is just something that Luke wouldn't say. He was no match for the darkness rising in him. Why? He been the Jedi for like 40 years. He, he had to be a little bit of a match now. Shit. Ryan Johnson, you don't just dislike Luke that much now. Damn. Let him have something. He must have thought I was dead. When I came to. Well, actually, both of y'all should be dead because this is what it looked like. So he should have killed you and him. He had vanished with a handful of my students. Who? Who are they? Are those the Knights of Ren? Where are the Knights of Ren? I need someone to show me my place in all this. Well, don't ask the director. He don't seem to know where Finn belongs. He don't seem to know where Poe or Maz or even Luke. Where does Luke belong in this storyline? He doesn't know nothing. So I think we gotta wait for JJ. The rest of our crew has been evacuated and heading your way. It's been an honor, Admiral. They just had to kill the black man. Me and the first order Kodich go way back. Okay, so for one, Detour doesn't even need to be in this movie. For two, what is that goddamn stuttering doing? Because it's really just more of a distraction than the character flaw. If he wanted to be in the movie, put his ass in a goddamn Stormtrooper suit, give him one or two lines, and that's it. Don't just make up character arcs that have nothing to do with the actual plot. Man, you can't even do cameos right. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so this is one of those prisons that let them keep key cards that unlock the doors. Oh, I see. Or maybe he had it in his prison wallet. Maybe that's where he kept that shit at. D did you do this? So what was his plan once he got out of the jail cell? I mean, was he going to beat up the guards with the boots? Does he have some guns that he left in his prison wallet? Or does he know hand-to-hand -hand combat? What, is, what was going to be the actual plan there? Uh, 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 uh. 
Ha! Look at BB-8, gangster. That's his version of shooting guns sideways. <laughs> so Ryan Johnson wants to take out the old and end with the new, but he leaves that same dumbass premise that armor doesn't really mean anything. Those boots should have never knocked him out. Stop enjoying this. Stop enjoying this. Well, I wasn't enjoying it. Actually, it's my least favorite part, so we're going to skip the whole thing. Okay? Okay. Why did you hate your father? Damn, Kylo buffed in a mug, ain't he? Ta! So you telling me that I waited all this time for her to see what the dark side had for her, what answer she would have got, and we get nothing? Are you serious? Is that the story you want to tell? Okay. She's like, oh shit, that's my spot. Yeah, you want this dark side D, don't you? But what about Luke? What would he say? You know he can't hit it like me, girl. I do want to know what that dark D is like. Didn't I tell you there's no locked doors in my house? Now I'm about to catch a case. Stop! Stop! <laughs> you disrespectful little Jedi wannabe. You don't hit Luke in the back with your stab like you some boss. That's Luke! You better have some respect! Put some respect on his name! Put some respect on his name! Did you do it? Did you create Kylo Ren? <laughs> Alright, so I know there's a thing called Dickmatize, but she ain't even had none yet. She fighting Luke over some dude she ain't even got none yet. Why would this make you want to fight Luke? Hold on, so you trying to tell me Ray can outfight Luke? Come on now. First off, she came to him for help. Now she gonna turn her back on him just because Kylo said some shit? Come on now, punishment don't fit the crime. Now she gonna cut Luke down with a lightsaber because he didn't answer her question? Come on now, that don't even, that don't even sound like Ray. Who is this? What movie am I watching? I'm ending all of this. The tree, the text, the Jedi. I'm gonna burn it down. Anyone else get the feeling that that's what Ryan Johnson said as soon as they signed the deal? I do. Damn, Luke not even a man of his word? He don't got the resolve or the gall or the conviction to do the things that he says he's gonna do? What kind of Jedi is he? What has he been doing all this time? Okay, first off, what are the rules with the Force Ghosts? Second, is Yoda using lightning now? That's the dark side power. I'm just saying, those are the little things that you can just think about. And Luke, what the hell are you looking at? You wasn't gonna do it. So shit, somebody had to. We have what they grow beyond. That is the true burden of all masters. All masters are just some masters because you're his master and he definitely didn't surpass you. So, what? Four parsecs to go. This thing really clicks. Oh, yeah. Bro, I forgot y'all was even in the movie. I just hope we're in time. I just hope you're relevant to the plot. If you see Finn before I do, tell him. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Tell him that. What, don't go on any side missions that might not have anything to do with the plot? So a stormtrooper and a who now are doing what? Yeah, Finn's not a stormtrooper anymore, so I'm not really sure why Poe would even describe him as that, but I guess. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. Vice Admiral Holdo, I am relieving you of your command. Where did all these people come from? Because you can clearly see in the last shot he had no one with him. All of a sudden, he got five other characters? What the heck? Ben. When we touched hands, I saw your future. No, you saw the D. It clouded your future. My faith in you is restored. Okay, so can we train now? Because you promised that in the last movie, and we haven't trained yet, so... Okay, so can someone tell me why is her uniform dress? Did she put it on when they announced she was going to take over for Leia? And that was like her celebration dress? Or is she just the only one on the ship that can wear dresses? I don't know. Someone needs to tell me something. That one's a troublemaker. 
I like him. Uh, no. That one's a criminal. Now he gets to go to jail. Because in any military, he's in jail right now. For the transports to escape, someone needs to stay behind and pilot the cruiser. All right, Leia, you're up. It's your turn. You gotta go. Your husband and uh, now you. Because for some reason, they don't seem to have any autopilot here. So uh, if somebody gotta go, it uh, probably should be you. No, she need to give your ass a tic tac. No, no, no. So y'all just really not gonna put him in handcuffs? I mean, isn't that mutiny? <laughs> Better learn how to duck or something. Where there was weakness, strength. Complete your training and fulfill your destiny well he can't really complete the training if he's never started the training so are you gonna start now or later because that's the first thing you said to do so. i cannot be betrayed i cannot be beaten uh you can't be beaten look at your face man look at your face you was beaten at some point i'm just saying Man, this hurts every single time I see this scene because there was so much buildup from who Snoke was, where he came from, how he got the first order, what he was going to train with Kylo. Why is he dead right now? Sometimes this movie feels like it wants to be part seven. Like if part seven wasn't here, this is what you would have got. But it's not. It's part eight. So why can it not story right? And why are the damn sparks flying after the lightsaber has already left his body? Ha! See, there goes that swinging all wild again. I could have did that. She clearly should be dead right now. He was clearly holding two things in his hand. All of a sudden, now he's only holding one. He should have stabbed her ass right in the gut. So, is there not a protocol for when there's an assassination happening? There's no like alarm to sound or anything like that. It's just whatever happens in that room stays in that room. Okay. They were nobody. They were filthy junk traders. Okay, first off, no child would ever say that their parents were nobody. Second off, what you say about my parents? Then, are you trying to tell me that she, just, she didn't remember what they looked like? Are you trying to tell me that she was waiting all this time and counting all these days and she wouldn't even know her parents even if she saw them? This seems a little, uh, a little half-assed, you know what I'm saying? D. Did you see that? Got him! I still think that should have been Leia or Admiral Akbar, but still a dope ass scene. What the hell? They playing Battleship up in here? Salt. Ew. But what if it wasn't salt? Blow that piece of junk out of the sky! So I know this is a running joke. But by now, I feel like being at the Millennium Falcon was indestructible. They just stopped calling it a piece of junk. Okay, it's heavily armored. Our only shot is right down the throat. <laughs> he said down the throat. Okay, so one, I'm so glad they didn't kill off Finn. But two, the reason why they didn't was just ridiculous. If she had enough time to come back to save Finn, she could have had enough time to come back to actually hit that damn cannon. Third of all... They survived this. There's no way. He's safe. Is it me or is he looking like, what in the hell are you thinking? <sighs> Luke, can you please stop kissing your sister? He hit her with the forehead kiss. Golly, it's not just the stormtroopers. They can't shoot either. It's one man. No, I'm just playing. I know it's just a projection. Did you come back to say you forgive me? To save my soul? No. Ooh, got him. Odds of finding an exit of 15,428. Shut, shut, shut up. Phew, thank you. Can't stand this dude. To one. Oh, you say one more goddamn word. And I'm gonna slap the shit out you. 
Follow me. You mean follow the fox? We all saw that crystal critter. You ain't the only one. What are you looking at me for? Cause you're our leader. Haven't you been paying attention? He's a war criminal. God damn, that move was tight. Did you see that? Every word of what you just said was wrong. How, Luke? How? The resistance is pretty much dead, so the war is probably over. And if he does kill you, he kind of did kill the last Jedi. So every word? Nah, sounds pretty spot on. Kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. Anybody else just want them to kiss? Strike me down in anger and I'll always be with you. Just like your father. What you say about my daddy? Don't you ever talk about my daddy! <laughs> okay, so I know that the fact that the snow didn't turn red underneath his feet means that he wasn't really there. But shouldn't he not have a shadow right now either? How the hell you get on the floor? Last time I saw you, your ass was laid out like you got knocked the hell out. So you good, right? I mean, you gazing into the sunset and shit, so you good. Now you back sitting on top of the rock? Last time I saw you, you was gazing into the sunset. Okay, so at this point, he just gave up. It's like suicide. He just said, you know what? I'm done. I don't get it. Luke killed himself, bro. Luke killed himself. Um, those shouldn't even be there. Luke is already dead. And if you want to say, oh, it was just a remnant of himself, why would he leave trinkets behind when he already disappeared? And furthermore, why the hell would Leia just drop that shit on the floor? Luke is gone. I felt it. But it wasn't sadness or pain, it was... Suicide! What the? Did he just force grab that broom? This isn't how the Force works. You don't just hear stories about what Jedi could do and then you could just do it all of a sudden. Oh, JJ, where are you? By your powers combined, I am. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't even want to get credit for this.